What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Miles World. And right here, we're still continuing with the golden ticket uh, Trubisky that we got out of our Nat pack. So we're pretty much coming out with another pack and play. Opened up the pack, brought Trubisky out, keeping that run going right now. I'm going to tell you right now, this guy right here, this guy, Brallon Miller, whoever this idiot is, this guy lurks. He's been lurking me since Madden 16. Now, if you guys are new to Madden, you, I can't really explain how much of a turn it went from with Madden uh, 15 into 16. Not like the worst thing that happened to me in 15 was that they had that um the um the reach around play play action uh re whatever whatever it was bro you could just run with any speed quarterback and it was super fast because that was happening EA toned down the way the quarterbacks ran and that's why we have that little staggering foolishness that goes on now where you run to one direction but then you got to stop completely to go the other direction there's no fluidity with the game um and also one of the biggest things. Coming from 15 to 16 was dudes started to man up their D tackles on Randy Moss and the D tackle was running down the field and over the top. Of it. it was real stupid. He was one of those idiots. He would come out and play a sag D like a moron, right? And then it, regardless of how many guys he was rushing, he would get pressure and then sack me or whatever like that. And then sometimes he would blitz out of the same thing and just send everybody and I would get it was It was really stupid, but the game itself was wild. So he would lurk me and know that he could come out and do an aggressive catch and do whatever he wanted pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Like pretty much the games, I believe I have them all because I, I, I stream them. So I don't know if I had them saved as a highlight, but most of my games throughout the years that I've been streaming on Twitch, they're available in different playlists if I don't have it on YouTube. Um, so it doesn't matter whether I win or lose. It's always on the stream somewhere. You know, people clip it. They put it in different rage compilations. It's there. But this guy's an ultimate idiot. But it just so happens that he, he decided to lurk me at a time where... You know, I just got Trubisky. You see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to test him out. All I want to do is throw the ball. And at this point, I know that Trubisky can make every throw. So I'm not really concerned about what he's doing. So he's going to come out and run, you know, cover four, drop. He's going to run cover two. He's going to be that usual idiot that most of the players are in Madden when you play the game. But we can't, like I said, we have to understand this. And that's why I appreciate a lot of you guys that roll with me throughout the entirety of the year. And you understand how we transition. Because early in the year when the game first started, I'm pretty sure this guy was playing cover four drop. You know what I'm saying? Some people still play it now, but I'm pretty sure that that was like his go-to defense. Because what happens is every year, right, these idiot Madden players that have seen that certain defenses just do whatever, that you could rush three guys and get instant pressure and everybody's getting covered and a lot of foolishness goes on. What they do is they lurk streams, right? Initially, when the game first comes out, people get it first, whatever, they start streaming it. Once they do that, they get to see and understand exactly what defense is going to be probably, you know, one of the best ones throughout the year. And then they do whatever. They, 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 they come out and they just start doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just like, it over, bro, it doesn't matter if it works all the time or not. They just come out, they have a base foolish defense that they see other people running and they just run at stock. And Madden 16, 17, and 18, those have been years for the stock defenses because when you used to, like, 25, there, were, there weren't a lot of crazy things like, like you know, how it was in 13 where you had, like, the uh, instant A gap or whatever. 25, you had to have a real decent blitz scheme. You know what I'm saying? Like, you weren't getting instant pressure like that out of most things. Um, but when they went to 16, 17, and 18, 16 was, like, dual A gaps, dual B gaps. They had to patch it. Then it got worse. Then, dude, the, the line just stopped blocking altogether. Things got weird. You know what I'm saying? Th this is the situation. 17 and 18 with the introduction of na uh, nano detection. Now these idiots know that stock defenses is probably going to lock you up more than anything else because it doesn't really. Okay, he's now he's trying to. Is this guy serious? Is this this guy is serious? He's really serious, right? He's coming out trying to do an old fashioned Madden 17 swerve. When I tell you that these guys are ultimate idiots, bro, I'm not telling you a lie. Guys, listen, just make sure you understand this. This guy, I'm just the reason that I'm so angry about this game. Even though this guy, I know this guy's an idiot, and I know I was gonna beat him because he's stupid, is because of the way that he thought. He honestly thought he was gonna come out here and do this, and it was gonna work. He really thought he was gonna come out here and try to do old-fashioned, um, you know, uh, swerves, and he's gonna beat me. Now, let me explain something. In Madden 17, that probably would have worked because in Madden 17, with the way the swerve was, you see, like how my guy's in position. He never changes his position. The swerve would move him out of position first. And then he would be able to do it. Now, in my opinion, this year, it doesn't really benefit you to do the old-fashioned swerve. 
you might as well go with the high point and see what you can get away with that and see how it works. Because the old-fashioned one, the way the defense stays there, only in certain um, formations do they react. Because I know you guys have probably seen other people doing the actual swerve from 17. Um, I tried it out a little bit. I was able to get it off a little bit in, um, what, like January, February this year. But then it wasn't really worth it, so I just stopped practicing it. Yo, shout out to McLovin. Oh, okay, with a donation? No, I see you, bro. I see you. Um, it, it becomes a situation where it's like, uh, no, oh, he, oh, he asked a question. I didn't even know what he was doing. This dude said, am I trying to play a sub game? Bro, what are you talking about? Why would I be trying to play a sub game in Madden? Like, bro, no. Absolutely not. I didn't, I didn't even know that he wrote that. But that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is this, right? The whole situation is when you play guys that come out, and, and this is about going forward too, people are going to play standard coverages. So because it's so late in the year, at this point in the year, you should know how to beat every coverage. So I don't know why he would lurk me this late in the year. Usually this idiot lurks me early on, and then he knows that he's going to come out with a dumb defense that makes absolutely no sense, and he'll get lucky. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is a guy that beat me in 16 by throwing the ball in the quadruple coverage and coming down with an aggressive catch. That, you know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you guys examples. So as bad as we think that Madden, you know, Madden is, it's still not as bad as how 13 was. Like 13, I mean, not 13, 16. 13 was really good in my opinion, and so was 25. 16 was like hell on earth, bro. 16, bro, you would have not, you couldn't play individual coverage on 4th and 97. If you guys know what I'm talking about, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, bro. You guys know what I'm talking about? Even if you were in cover 3, if you were one-on-one, -on -one, you were getting dotted because you were going to get uh, the OBJ catch no matter who was out there. On 4th and 977, the guy was going to go ahead and aggressive catch you if you were doing any kind of single coverage. You had to play two-man under to ensure that you would stop them. You had to do it. There was no other option about it. And that's the thing that made Madden 16 unbearable. They gave you no... After they patched the game, before the first patch, you were able to swat the ball. It would come out when they dropped. After the patch, it became a free fall. And then that's when the game really went to hell. You see what I'm saying? And then that's when all kinds of things started happening. And it, it just got really, really bad, bro. And this is the situation. Now we look at it, we could actually n control a little bit better on the outside. So... All the stuff that he's trying to do, I'm just trying to explain why he was doing it. Because a lot of you guys ask me, like, yo, g Maya, why was it? why was your opponent doing that? Or why was I doing something? And I try to make you guys understand, like, if you ever see me doing something and it's not working, like, you know, consistently, it's because I'm still working on it. And it's something that I've tried either offline or, you know, I've seen that I want to, you know, I want to see if it works in actual online games. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not something that can't be explained. But this guy... I don't see why he would be doing that right now. Like, what? what is the purpose of what he's doing? See, but then again, I understand it. Because he 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 wants to frustrate me. He he thought he was going to be able to do that all game. And he was going to be able to be an idiot that, that, you know what I'm saying, that sits in his basement with doo-doo in his underwear and just beat me. And that's what, he, that's what he wanted to do. And it just didn't work out for him. So every time that I played this guy, I don't think he's ever rage quit. Even when I beat him in the past. Because like I said, he used to lurk me a lot. So we played several games. I don't think he's ever rage quit in any game that I've played him. He he, because it's usually a closer game. But now, with the way that the mechanics of the game was in 16 and 17, it doesn't suit him right now in 18, because he can't get away with just being an idiot. You see what I'm saying? Like it. Now the way that the game is, all the other things like he can't man up his D tackle to run with Carmichael. You see what I'm saying? Like, and you guys might think that's a joke, but if you go back to my Madden 16 videos, um. There were even pro players that was doing that. Like dudes that was competing on the highest level were manning up their D tackle, manning up their left end and spying someone and then letting the play break down and sending the spy. And actually the one spy would go around the entire O-line and sack the quarterback. That's how bad 16 was. It was really, really crazy. And these idiots, this guy right here, he shined, bro. He shined in those years. Is he a terrible Madden player? Yes, but it didn't matter, bro. And that's the biggest thing about it. Because with right now, when I have Trubisky, right, it doesn't really matter what he's doing. I know what I want to do, and I know that he can't stop it. That that's that's the interesting thing about how the tides have turned. I know he's a hundred percent a complete idiot, but he doesn't understand that the way that he's doing what he's doing doesn't really work against like people that know how to click on and strafe. 
Because most of you guys that have been playing Madden for a while, I know a lot of you, a lot of my newer viewers, you guys started off like uh, 17. A couple of you guys said, yo, I started in 16. They took away the focus, for, you know, from being able to strafe first before you pick the ball. You see what I'm saying? Like, they just made it so you could just hold triangle, ball hawk, all that kind of stuff like that. There was a time where it was necessary to strafe, to hold that left trigger, line yourself up, and then click the button to intercept the ball. There was a time when that was something that was very, very prevalent. And that was one of the things that used to, um, it used to separate the, um, like the, the, the grades of how good a player was. Like, when I went to tournaments and stuff like that, you know, back in the day or whatever, that, that was something that you would look, like, as somebody was playing, like, depending on the bracket, and you're like, yo, I got to play that guy next, you would see how his user was. And believe it or not, a lot of the decent Madden players didn't have, you know, all that good user, but they knew how to strafe and intercept the ball. Because stick skills and stuff like that, a lot of people don't really have it, but they're able to throw dots. They're able to do a lot of different things. And, they, you know, they have a scheme, you know, a drag streak with a post. Or, they know, like, people really have schemes. Me, I used to just come out with those streaks. Like, I've never really had a, stream, a, a, a scheme. But I would either, you know, win big or lose. But I won a lot more than I lost, so I didn't really care. I would come out because dudes weren't thinking like, yo, this dude will come out and throw, the, throw a deep pass every play. Like, bro, I was really out there throwing a deep pass every play not caring about anything. And that's what I used to lab. That's what I did. So when you think about it like that, right, and the way that Madden has changed, it has become easier, but it also took away a lot of the stuff that made people good. Because now, if I, look, you see like right here, you see, you see why he keeps doing that? He keeps trying to swerve me or whatever he's doing. He's doing that because he thinks that he's going to be able to move me out of position. But I'm not playing a defense you know, to where I can be moved out of position. You understand what I'm saying? Like the zones, I'm changing my zones with my players and just making sure that my player will stand there in that area. There is no effect of the the whirlwind that used to happen in 17 where my guy used to go in and out and in and out. It, it doesn't work. So when you play guys like this guy, you're going to see that they're going to try to do things and utilize what used to happen. And you got to at least give EA credit with this. Is the game wild and uncontrollable? Yes. But a lot of the things that plagued 17, and like I said, I used to swerve all the time, but I go with the time, I go with what's happening. You see what I'm saying? Like, if EA allows me to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to come out and try to DC glitch anybody and stuff like that, but I'm going to utilize on the field what I could do the same way guys used to do play action reach around on me and stuff like that, and whatever. You're going to do what works for you. But this guy right here, after he threw that pick, he realized that he's a complete and utter idiot, and he had to move on, bro. And that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys, man. You got to make sure that you're ready for complete idiots like this. Go out there. Make sure your game is ready to go. Try Trubisky out there, man, because this dude, you can see how he throws them lasers, man. The dude is unbelievable. So he has Gunslinger. He has Conductor. This idiot. Look, bro, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, all I can do is give you suggestions. I can't make you guys do anything. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. I'm going to see you guys and girls later, man. Definitely subscribe. Until next time. One love.